The following video tutorial covers Unix tricks to improve your life. The field of computing has been furthered by a proud lineage of female computer scientists. From Adele Lovelace, the first computer programmer, to Grace Murray Hopper, the inventor of the first compiler. But it was Lex Murphy, the girl from Jurassic Park, whose prowess with the Unix system saved so many lives. Her brave actions display the true power of Unix, and it is to her heroism and valor that the current video on Unix tricks is dedicated. It was a Unix system, and she indeed knew it. Let us first begin with some basic commands. Here is my terminal. If you're not terribly familiar with Unix, you might want to check out my basic Unix commands video to get started. The first is a simple use of cd the change directory command. The command cd space dash will return me to the last directory I was in. The command cal will spit out a simple calendar of the current month to the screen. You can also see the calendar page of any month in the past or future by typing a month and year after cal, in numerical form. The history tool outputs a list of your previously entered commands. You can pipe it into grep to easily search through what you've typed in. The strings command takes a binary file and spits out all the printable, human-readable strings of text. The file command determines the file type of any given file. For an example, it correctly identified this PDF of Horner and Weiss Hempel's 1988 Nature publication entitled, A Comparative Embryological Study of Two Ornithischian Dinosaurs. Adding the color flag, dash dash color, after grep will highlight the match, making it easier to spot. Now onto the intermediate tricks. You can use curly brackets to search for multiple file types at one time. This command, for example, shows all bitmaps, JPEGs, GIFs, and pings. The commands PB paste and PB copy allow Unix to copy and paste to the clipboard. This command will take the contents of the clipboard, sort it, and put it back onto the clipboard ready to be pasted elsewhere. Simply typing PB paste will paste the current clipboard contents to the screen. The text util command is useful for converting between certain file types. This example converts all HTML documents present in the directory into Microsoft Word's .doc format. It also works with plain text files and rich text format. Here are a few advanced tips. If you enclose a Unix command with backticks, you can then use that command's results as part of the input to a second command. Here I'm creating a folder whose name will include today's date, which I've gotten from the date command. Here are some neat shortcuts for saving your typing fingers. Two exclamation points will repeat the last command you typed, in this case list. If you know the history number of a particular command, which you can find using the history command, typing an exclamation point and then that number will rerun that particular command. Typing an exclamation point and then one or a few letters will redo the last command that began with those letters. Typing exclamation point T in this case will run the last text util command. Finally, two exclamation points and an asterisk will repeat the arguments from the last command. Here I list all JPEGs, then use the shortcut to quickly copy those matching files to my desktop. Those Unix commands, when wielded correctly, will increase your productivity and make you better people. These last two have the opposite effect. If you have a Mac, the say command followed by a string of text will start the text-to-speech converter. The same utility was used to make the audio for this slideshow. I usually use it to insult people in the room in a robotic voice. Last but definitely not least, this Telnet command will connect you to a host that broadcasts Star Wars Episode 4 in ASCII art. I hope you've enjoyed these useful and useless Unix tricks. If you ever come across a Unix system, you can now truly say, in the immortal words of Lex Murphy, I know this.